Oh, kia ora everybody, I'm here with some awesome students from Paura School and look, it's just across these railway tracks and that's what we're talking about, isn't it? Because there's some really important safety messages that these guys have for you to think about when you're living around or crossing railway tracks every, every day. Now, Rewa, something behind us, what do you do when you come up to a railway track? Um, you look for any signs. If you see a sign, you've just got to look at it and read it and do what it says because it might have something really important on it. Very, very important. They're there for a reason. Now, Aisha, you've, you've read the sign and you're going to look for trains. So what does that mean? Um, you look both ways and if it's and if you can't see a train, then it's clear to cross. You know, it seems like such a simple thing, look both ways, but it's really important because trains are quiet and trains are fast, as we've learned over the last few days. Now, Jacob, you don't live too far from school, but sometimes you ride. Now, what, what do you do when you get to the railway? Well, when I get to the tracks, I hop off my bike and then I look both ways and if it's clear, I walk over. Yeah, that's a really sensible thing to do because, you know, it's a bit bumpy. I can see some lumps there in the track, so getting off your bike to push it across is a safer option. And Carter, you live near the railway. Yeah. Yeah. T tell me about what you may not do. Well, uh, stay far away from the tracks and don't play on them because it might be dangerous and it's private property. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we've got uh, another Carter here. Two Carters for the price of one. Carter, um, what's your safety message? Um, to not fall step on the track. Yeah. Because it could be dangerous. Yeah, like a stone, if you put a stone or something on the track, it might flick off when the train comes past and cause some damage or an accident somewhere else. And last but not least, we've got Theo with a really, really important safety message. So, if you're like walking on the track and you have ear an earpod or something, you turn your earpod off or your headphones off and you look both ways and then get across the track and then put them back on. Yeah that's right because um, distractions are one of the biggest causes of accidents. If you're not listening to the train coming, you know, you're only relying on other senses which you want to have all of them working to safely cross. Hey thanks for having us here at your school today and bringing us and showing us where you cross and some of those important safety messages. Thanks for sharing guys. Kia ora.